All right, guys, first video in 2023 is the new Toyota Corolla Cross. And in this video, I will make the full review interior exterior. I will try to give you all the details about this new Corolla Cross. And at the end of this video, I hope you are able to make a decision if this car is for you or not. First of all, as always, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Emil Frey in Zugville. I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car, see the car, test drive the car, check them out. Before we go forward, I want to start with technical data and then we will make the review exterior, interior and in the end we will make the conclusion as always. So first of all, as I said before, I have with me Toyota Corolla Cross and I have the version with 2 liter petrol engine, full hybrid, all wheel drive that comes with eCVT transmission and also this is the trend version by the way that's something to keep in mind the car price here in switzerland at least at emil frey in zugville it starts at 43,900 francs but if you add some options the price will go a little bit higher so if you add all these options like uh, pack trend plus where you have integrated the wireless charging you have also the electric trunk you have also the automatic parking you have also heated steering wheel, navigation system, the blind spot technology, car care kit, and the color. The price will go up to 46,450 francs. But here at Emil Frey in Zugville, you already have a 2,550 francs discount. So the final price will be 43,900 francs. And you probably wonder how an SUV can go such a lower in price and it's a toyota toyota are very reliable cars and as you probably know they make one of the best hybrid systems in the world and they were kind of the first that they make this hybrid system and they were super super reliable in time probably all of us we heard about uh, toyota prius that drive over 1 million kilometers with some cars and they didn't have any problem so from this point of view i think this price for an suv from toyota it's a good price but in this video i will try to explain you also the goods and the bads uh, that the car come with now going to the technical data the power of the car it's 199 horsepower but here it says 152 because this 152 horsepower it's only the petrol engine this car come with free uh, motors I will explain you in a second the weight of the car 1620 kilograms 5.3 liter the estimated consumption 121 co2 grams and it's in a class efficient class so it's a very very efficient class like almost all Toyota cars let me go even deeper in technical data and let me tell you that the car come with a 2 liter petrol engine four cylinders in line it comes with an IC 2 liter petrol engine in the front another electric motor in the front and another one in the back so it's an all-wheel drive system it's kind of a complex and complicated system and together all these free motor and engine will produce 199 horsepower 190 newton meters 0 to 108.1 seconds also the car is connected with an automatic transmission ecvt without any gear so it's just like a proper classic automatic system from toyota also another thing that worth notice is the fact that the car comes also with a battery lithium battery it's a around two kilowatt hour lithium battery that help all this system work together the car come with front suspension independent mcpherson and rear suspension double wishbone also kind of multi-link independent suspension the front brakes ventilated brake discs and the rear we have normal brake discs also the car come with 18 inch rims in this trend version but more detail i'll give you as we go in the video so those are the most important technical data let's start the review exterior interior and in the end we will make the conclusion by the way don't forget and don't miss the test drive video with the same car I have on my channel on another separate video so if you want to find out how it's on the road to drive it just check out that video so yeah anyway let's go to review all right guys first of all as always we will start with the key this is the key kind of the same key as Toyota use it also on other uh, models what you can do with the key you can open the trunk this if you get it as an optional because you have to to have it included in the option so that's really helpful you can also close it if you press the button so the trunk will close also from the key 
this is a good good feature another thing that you can do you can lock and unlock the car of course the car come with electric folding mirrors and you can use it also with your finger so you can lock the car here or if you put your hand right here the car will unlock the door for you so you just have to have the key in your pocket so this is all what you can do with the key now i want to turn on the lights and i want to talk a little bit about the exterior design to be honest i don't know if i can make a link in terms of exterior design with a with a normal toyota corolla because i don't know if it has any element that looks like a corolla it looks more like an rav4 you can see it right there a lot like a rav4 but also as you probably know they collaborate with suzuki and if you know the s cross i already reviewed it on the channel it looks quite similar uh, in terms of shape design lines i think it's a combination between uh, rav4 and uh, that s cross i don't know it's just my opinion but it looks quite nice it's simple it's kind of adding a little bit of toyota design trend and tradition in it so yeah it's relatively a nice car it's not something to say like whoa but it's it's just fine i mean in this price range the car look really good and i think they want to focus more on practicality on uh, affordability because this car it's an affordable suv uh, with an amazing hybrid system in my opinion so if you ask me on the size it's between rav4 and chr let's say like that but uh, yeah quite nice anyway let's go a little bit closer to the details i will show you in detail every single element of the car so for example here on the roof we have uh, some roof rails in black very useful so you can carry some luggage also up there then you have the radio antenna very modern very nice uh, the roof spoiler here in the back it's quite simple quite clean and what uh, surprised me the most it's that up here we don't have any brake light like we have in other cars they somehow integrated inside the window uh, i don't know if you can see it under here under the 10 years warranty by the way the car come with 10 years warranty so if you you can imagine how reliable is this car if they they manage to give you 10 years warranty here is the sprinkler for water so the water for the wipers will come from up there so you can wipe the screen here uh, tinted windows in the back and on the side uh, and also i like this chrome design here where it says corolla cross it's really nice on the both sides some chrome design on the upper side down here we have kind of a rubber on the down part and rubber between the the windows and here we have some uh, black matte plastic this is the upper part here in the front let me go here in the front let me show you that here you have some camera some sensors for light and raining and also that camera can read the traffic speed limit it helps with lane assist and all that safety features that the car come with we will talk about that also um, a little bit later then look at the mirrors they are not installed here in this uh, angle uh, they try to clean up the angle so you have a better visibility on the a pillar so they put the mirror on the body of the car on the door of the car and in this way also the aerodynamic is better the visibility is better it's a big mirror it's a nice mirror nice designed led light here on the blinkers on the mirror and we have huge huge mirror so you have great visibility also blind spot technology you can see it right here in the corner it will light up while you're driving if you have a car uh, on the side then going in the front to see it one more time the front design it looks quite powerful this front end it looks like a powerful suv from my point of view also on the hood quite nice lines clean design nothing crazy there we have i like the fact that the car come with full led light in the front and they look really really nice so you can see the following turning signals and if you go closer they look super super nice like a crystal light really interesting then here we have toyota writing on the side i don't know if you can see it right there on the chrome then we have the daylight and then we have this uh, high bin and low bin full led light so great lights and if that was not enough you can see down there even the fog lamps are 
LED, so we don't have any yellow light in the front here, so fog lamps LED as well. Uh, the car comes with four parking sensors in the front. Here I was expect to have six parking sensors, but it comes only with four. That's something to keep in mind. The grill, we have a big grill here. Air intakes, kind of a glossy black grill. Here we have Toyota logo with a little bit of blue that signify electricity inside that it's a full hybrid and also behind this logo we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake all that safety features work with this radar down here another air intakes on the grill so you can see inside there the radiator and we have some uh, plastic down here kind of a gray nice plastic but uh, i was surprised to see that they make it kind of glossy is the same as the paint of the car that you can scratch it very easy in the in the future so i was expect to be more like like a normal matte plastic you know like it's here this is very practical because it's it's cheaper to replace and also uh, if you scratch it, it doesn't matter too much you know like you don't have to repaint it so that's it that's the front it's it's relatively nice then going on the side let's go to the side to the side look really good i like the car from the side really really nice the front and the side look really cool. Uh, now, what I like on the side is the fact that they add this plastic protection around the wheels and that will protect the paint in time. You don't have to worry about rust in time. In this area here, it's protected by this plastic. It's protected on the down part here, on the down skirt, uh, where the doors are. And also it's protected in the back here, the same story. So I like that. Also, if you open the door, if you hit something with the door in the back, usually if you have kids, uh, you don't have to worry too much because you have this plastic, you can change it very easy. In the front, you have it on the down part there. The handles also feel good, feel good quality, I can see. And also the sound of the doors, it's nice. It's like, like a Toyota, also in the back, the same story. So, nice car. Here in the back, some things that I will definitely change it. The back is the part that I will change a few things here. The first one that I will change will be the light. I wish here we can see some LED lights. Here is just a halogen light. Here is the tail light with the red. Uh, this is LED and it looks really, really nice. I like the way it looks, the upper part. But reverse light, brake light, we have here kind of a halogen light and turning signals. That's something that I will change. I will change a little bit the design here. The fog lamps, although they are LED, and this is nice. We have Corolla writing on the left side and then hybrid on the right, so you know uh, which version it is. Uh, here we have a reverse camera. The car comes with a reverse camera. I will show you when we go inside the car. LED lights on the number plate. This is super useful and I like that. Then again, four parking sensors in the back. I was expect to have six but it's fine it's useful you will see when we go inside and down here on the bumper in the back we have also this matte plastic very useful some light reflectors uh, some gray here the same as the color of the car and the exhaust pipe you have it on the right side there somehow hide it under the car so this is it this is the exterior now i want to show you the engine bay guys and uh, before engine bay i want to talk a little bit about the rims 18 inch rims i think they look nice on the car, they look more than perfect and if you want bigger you can get bigger one to make the car much more sportier but in my opinion those are the perfect combination between economy, sportiness and uh, comfort over the bumps. Of course the car comes with ventilated brake discs as I show you and I tell you before 18 inch rims those tires are for winter and in the back we have normal brake discs so simple clean uh, this is all you need now guys let me show you the engine bay i want to stop this light from here you stop also the fog lamps and the light and i want to show you the engine where is that here the engine bay good it's kind of cold outside my hands are freezing i don't remember if this is out. oh this is a manual you have a manual lift gate here and you have to remember every time you open the hood i think it's a sensor here the engine will start and you can hear a little bit the engine two liter petrol engine is here four cylinders in line 
and also the electric one it's somewhere under this one here you can see on the right side some parts of it um, yeah other than that liquid cooling on the left side this is the wiper fluid there and here is the fuse box the air filter and this is the way it looks if you close it in a few seconds it will close the engine too but i notice every time i open the the front uh, the engine will start and i don't know why but yeah really interesting now you see it stopped now going in the back here automatic lift gate what i notice is that the entrance in the trunk it's big it's big enough and more than enough up here you have the buttons to close it you have a handle to close it manually uh, also some plastic on the upper side um, i like the fact that the car comes also with this protection for the trunk so you can put it like that or you can take it out completely uh, for me personally i i don't like this too much i always take it out from the cars but it looks really nice and also they put some kind of aluminium on the upper side here to make it look much more premium the entrance is big although i like that i like that it's super big so you can stick in here big items and also on the upper side it's a little bit smaller but down here it comes a little bit larger wider yeah some plastic at the entrance we have like two three centimeters deepness here some hooks aluminum hooks in every corner a lot of space in the left side here to put different items also some storage space here uh, storage space here it's quite useful you have an led light inside the car i noted that everywhere in the car it's led so you don't have any yellow light here and under the floor you have some uh, space here to put repair kit and stuff like that but you have to keep in mind that under this one here you don't find too much space because somewhere have to be all that battery and uh, the electric motor it's under here so yeah this is the trunk now let me take out this protection we will fold down the seats we will see how much space it is there all right i just take out that protection and i want to show you one more time the way the trunk look like it's really big i mean you can fit in here a lot of stuff uh, without any problem now the only downside that i find here in the trunk is the fact that you cannot fold the middle part for example to carry long items like skis you have to fold it uh, 60 40 so let me show you here you just push it like that and then it's fold down now after you fold it down another thing that i wish it was different it's this step here and here you have like 10 to 12 centimeters and it's kind of a step there so you don't have a flat floor completely maybe for some people this is a downside when you want to carry long items like mobile part because the car it's it's really really spacious i mean you have a lot of space in the car look at this huge space in the trunk here but it looks nice it looks big you can stick in here a lot of stuff but yeah this is a small downside uh, from my point of view I don't know about you but um, it's it's fine I mean for me it doesn't matter I don't know if I carry mobile part maybe one time in a year or something like that and I can I can find a, a way to do it even with that uh, floor there anyway but that's something that worth mention now the entrance from the side it's relatively big and what I notice here and what I like is the fact that this seat it comes completely flat and this is something that you don't find in other cars even though if they have somehow a flat floor uh, they will stay a little bit higher but this one it stays completely flat so if you want to put a glass of water here you can drive with it because it's quite quite flat uh, and this is this is great i like that now down here you have also some space on the downside so you can see there in the middle uh, the transmission tunnel is relatively small so you can carry uh, some items also here if you ask what is this one why is these vents here it's because of the battery you need to cool down a little bit so yeah that's something uh, to keep in mind also you can see from this angle the trunk and the space here in the car it's it's big enough uh, to carry a lot of items so yeah let me put everything back and then we will go inside the car because it's freezing outside i want to show you something because i also forget to show you this um, tank right there 
So let me show you from here, you open it up just like that. And then you go in the back and you can see the tank right here. I just forget to show you before. Uh, what I noticed is also that they didn't invest too much uh, money in this one here because it doesn't matter actually uh, it's better to give you a better engine a better price than invest in some things that you really don't need it anyway going to the door here you have tinted windows one window is fixed one can be fold down and i show you how much down all the way down this is a great great news i didn't test it before so yeah this is cool this is the door nice design you don't even know what kind of materials are here until you touch it because it looks good so you will notice that here it's plastic everywhere but in in the first impression will be like here it's soft material but the fact that they designed this fake kind of stitches there you will think that this is leather so very smart thing from them here again plastic here it's the only soft material it's in this area you have leather here uh, and also the button uh, the cup holder here very smart very nice and here we have a speaker the entrance in the car as you see big enough uh, to go inside here you can see one more time from here from this angle uh, the design and the space here we will go inside and we will see how much space we have uh, the seats here a combination of leather with stuff material here in the middle leather and a little bit of stuff material is of fix for child you can install two child seats in the back here the quality feel very good uh, i like the quality of the seats also in the middle here you have an uh, armrest with two cup holders also in leather and also i like the fact that you can adjust the seats if you pull it and push it it's a little bit of hard you can put it even more on the back so you can see the difference right here right now and you can bring it back just like that very easy so it's great that you have this option to adjust it uh, backward or forward now behind the front seats we have some leather stuff material transmission tunnel it's small as i showed you before also in the middle here you, can, you kind of have uh, plenty of space to stay there i will show you in a second we have vents here in the back and we have two USB-C, very useful. So great job, Fred. I like that. In this price range, we have everything we need. And I go inside, it's soft here. The seats in the front, it's adjusted in my driving position. So that's something to keep in mind. You can check one more time. And then you can see how much space I have here. So I have plenty of space in the back and I can stretch my legs under the front seats without any problem. So for me, at least 173 centimeters, I have plenty of space up here, a lot of space on my, on my head, and also the comfort here in the back, it's relatively good. Uh, I feel quite comfortable. Visibility outside, it's, it's really good. You have a big window in the back, you have these big windows, great visibility outside, nothing to complain in terms of visibility. Uh, you have also handle here, and also a hook the quality of the roof yeah it's not that good as in other cars but it's okay actually it doesn't matter too much i prefer to have uh, a less quality on the roof and a good price than have a bigger price and uh, a roof that i never touch or i don't care about it going in the middle right now it's easy because the transmission tunnel is small i can stay somehow with legs together like that so you can see also the space on my knees relatively good on my head i have like plenty of space stretch my hand yeah almost completely and also here almost completely i think three people can sit here for short to medium trips without any problem it's a little bit stiffer on my back here because of this cup holder a little bit stiffer on my ass as well but it's, it's okay i mean i can stay for short trips medium trips here uh, without any problem here we have an LED light so no yellow light here in the back as well so uh, we will go in the front there are some interesting things that I want to show you like the new multimedia system the new digital cockpit uh, the design of the of the dash when I was outside I tell you that nothing from outside look like a Corolla but the interior look a lot like a Corolla and this new multimedia system and digital 
screen it's kind of the same as will be on the new Toyota Corolla 2023 uh, model that I will present you in the future and also the dashboard design it's it's very similar uh, it's nice it's clean it's it's nothing special here uh, but it's it's supposed to be like that anyway yeah let's go in the front guys we have a big window and a small one that it's fixed right there uh, great visibility outside and huge mirrors look how big are the mirrors now on the door the same question do you know which kind of material they use and i have to tell you on the upper side this one is no more fake this is soft everywhere leather everywhere in this area here we have some plastic here we have leather again soft material then we have the buttons for the windows lock and unlock window lock and unlock car electric adjustable windows here you can see it and also folding the mirrors from there you have a handle with some chrome uh, some storage space here quite a lot a lot of storage space i should say and then you have the speaker right here in this area here of course you have some plastic now going inside the car big entrance uh, you can see also from this angle the way it looks there it looks quite nice the seats look great i mean good good design on the seats uh, and also uh, we will start with the pedals we have normal pedals no aluminium nothing crazy nothing fancy there uh, also the seats are manual adjustable you, you have to adjust it manually but you have this lumbar part that you can adjust it uh electrically this area right here so other than that um, the seats look uh, great i love the way uh, the seats look like i think they fit perfectly with this car also the same combination of leather with stuff material in this area uh, and you have the side support they are big enough they are super comfy i sit on them and they are really really nice now here we have the button to open the trunk uh, for auto high beam and also for position of the lights from here up uh, you have some actually it's not soft <laughs> you see it's fake it's it's all actually i was thinking this is soft but you can see this is this is kind of plastic but it's fake so nice that you will think it's soft you know really interesting uh, the vents although they feel really good quality uh, when you touch them and they are nice design with a little bit of chrome everywhere on the upper side you have plastic on the upper side of the dashboard now let me go inside because it's super cold outside close the door now everywhere as i said it's plastic on the upper side but you never touch it you don't have a reason here we have some speakers on the both sides here in this area it's totally different because here it's soft material so you have soft 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 and then here is no more soft but in this area keep in mind that you have soft material then you have this chrome with some glossy plastic the vents very nice integrated down here we have the glow box glow box it's also relatively big and you don't have any light in the glow box let me go a little bit backward with the seats so i can show you a little bit better the visibility outside visibility around the windows perfect i don't have any reason to complain about even on the uh, a pillar here good visibility around the windows also you can see in the back there almost almost no blind spot there even though you have a reverse camera you can see one more time the seats in the back and here you have an armrest also this armrest you can open it up like that you have some storage space you have a 12 volt port there so you can put in a few stuff there the center console uh, we have plastic everywhere here you have some glossy plastic really nice and also some chrome design two cup holders electric handbrake auto hold here is the stalk to change the different gears so you can go like yeah, let me go forward now you can go like in reverse just like that you have to press the button here uh, on the stalk and then this is the reverse camera it's relatively good uh, camera i like how big the screen it is and also you have a few views here uh, to see the lines on the ground that help you when you park the car and also you can see a little bit bigger if you need that bigger view uh, so that's that's fine then you have the drive mode and you have the b mode the b mode will regenerate more energy back in the battery it's kind of a um, brake an extra brake like in electric cars here a little bit forward you have different driving modes to change from and let me show you on the screen on this new screen you have like normal mode 
you have power mode and you have echo mode so look how beautiful it is every time you change those driving modes you have a nice graphic there for the first time in a, a toyota <laughs> the digital screen is here and it looks awesome we will talk about that also i will have a separate video about that as well but also in this video traction control on and off ev mode from here you put it only in ev mode you can see there on the left side if the car have enough battery it will work only in EV mode. If it doesn't have enough battery, it will not work. So the engine will still running. You have a wireless charging in the front there, also optional. Uh, you can see there, you can charge your phone and also you have a light. Heated steering wheel here on the heated steering wheel, I find something that I wanna point out in the video is the fact that heated steering wheel, it's only in this area. You know, it's like starting here in this area where usually the hands are. So uh, up here, it's cold, it's somehow cold, it's not cold, but it doesn't hit. And also down here, it doesn't hit. So it's hitting only on the, on the sides here. So that's something to keep in mind. I can stop it right now. Also hit it on the seat, it's work also super fine. You have an USB uh, two port right there, very useful. This is the start, the power button, uh, it's right here and also of course the stalks uh, the steering wheel it's manual adjustable you can adjust it forward backward up and down depend how you want it i noticed that the quality on the steering wheel is very good it's kind of classic it's 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 really really good uh, and also the design is kind of classic from toyota of the steering wheel here we have physical button i like that with those buttons you control uh, the things on the on the cockpit and here you control the cruise control and all that safety feature autopilot I will show you as we drive in the other video so check out the test drive video as well if you want to find out more details about that now let's go to the uh, cockpit the cockpit it's it's great this new digital cockpit great colors good view from the driver point of view uh, and also you can customize in so many ways you can see right there uh, you have the average consumption on the left side here you can also press to reset um, and then you can change what you like to see on the left side you can see the echo score you can see the ev driving ratio and all kind of information then you can go on the right side and you can change there what you like to see and this is also super super cool i mean you have so many infos there to change from and to see from uh, also the tire pressure and you can see the traction on the on the wheels there and it's it's very complex and i, I like how many infos you have there and also you have a nice graphic there also in the middle you have the options here to see if the car have any errors uh, you can see the adaptive cruise control and autopilot here in the middle you can have the map in the middle if you want to you can see right now we have the map uh, with the directions and this is also super super cool and then you have the settings where you can change different settings of the car uh, so the brightness um, of the screen you have the lane assist the blind spot technology emergency brake the parking sensors here when you go in the reverse you have that um, reverse sensors then you have also a lot of safety features and you have of course the meter setting and then you have the vehicle settings where you can go in the uh, vehicle settings you can change a few options extra options as well so yeah it's, it's super complex and i like that also on the meter settings you have language units uh, hybrid system you have all this information here fuel economy you have trip a trip b pop-up screen a lot of settings to change from and also here on the main screen you have the possibility to change in three different views so you can customize all these three views and you can choose uh, which one you like to have so yeah it's 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 quite cool i like it to be honest i i have to tell you that i like this new screen so great job really great job toyota good going forward here in the middle we have the same kind of climatic system the same buttons the same array physical button very easy to adjust very easy to change different functions very easy to start um, echo and 
yeah, it's great. I mean, it's perfect. It's very easy to reach out from the driver point of view. So I like it. Some vents here. We have the button for the turning uh, for the hazard light. And we have this new multimedia system that it's big and you have a great visibility from the driver point of view. Great, great uh, brightness and uh, the screen it's much better it's a combination between glossy and matte i don't know how can i explain you that the great part is that you can't leave any fingerprints on it but in the same time it's very responsive so it's a great combination finally i can say i like uh, the multimedia system from toyota and to be honest um, it's really good it's really responsive so if you add a destination for example let's add in burn here let's add this destination and let's see how fast you can see how fast it's just working instantaneous like that it's work fast it's work uh, they add a new processor a new ram better ram better quality and it's work really fast so yeah great job Toyota I really like that uh, from this point of view it's it's a great navigation system now then in general this um, multimedia system is very simple you just have those shortcuts on the left side when you go on radio you have the telephone here I will have a separate video on how to connect your phone and under an Apple CarPlay on it here you have a uh, vehicle energy flow information but of course you can see also the trip information with consumptions and all that stuff on the last uh, kilometers so you can see the energy flow it shows you what happened with the energy right now uh, then you have here uh, the web browsing and notification and then you have here the settings of the car like personal information bluetooth and device here you can connect your device uh, here you have the generals accessibility date and time keyboard uh, language and units here and then um, yeah you can also somehow change those and add it the way you want it wi-fi display here you have also the camera settings and also the display settings and with the cameras of course and you can change the brightness and the contrast and then you have the sound and media from the sound system here you have some some settings where you can change them the media radio and stuff like that voice and settings uh, voice and search here you can also uh, use the voice command with hey toyota and stuff like that but uh, i'm not a big fan of these voice commands uh, not for the moment then you have the light settings the door controllers the climatic utility here and um, then you have the software update so yeah those are all guys uh, security here and dealer information so those are all i tell you it's it's a very very simple system it's nothing complicated nothing complex and crazy here so it's just there are just a few things uh, very important that most of us use it all the time so in general uh, it's a simple system now guys up here we have a mirror um, the mirror is good I mean the visibility in the back there is relatively good you can see from here from this angle that it's quite nice quite big mirror uh, up here I like this LED light it looks quite quite nice it looks really cool and here we have a microphone a handle and also when you open this up you have an LED light with a mirror so yeah in general in general good stuff I mean the car doesn't come with impressive quality materials i mean you can expect to find uh, like a mercedes quality inside in this price range i think the price and the offer it's just fabulous i mean think about it you have one of the best hybrid system in the world with one of the best consumption in the world uh, with a very good price for an suv and you have 10 years warranty you have the newest the safety features and I, I think it's it's a great deal this is this is my opinion I'm not saying this is the best deal but I think it's a great deal so yeah that was the review guys I hope I cover everything I will have a separate video with uh, the driving I will have a test drive video with the same car separate one so check out on the channel if it's not already on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come on the channel also, if you have questions, ask me down below. I will try to answer to all of you. 
Also, uh, if you want to see the separate video with multimedia, separate video with how to connect your Apple CarPlay to this multimedia system, check out next days on the channel. Thank you very much for watching my rating for this Toyota Corolla Cross from 1 to 10 will be 9.9. .9. It's a great car with a great price. So, yeah, that was the video, guys. If you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Emil Frey in Zugville. I will leave the link in the description. So if you want to buy the car, see the car, test drive the car, check them out. They are very cool. And also, you see, they already have a 2,000, I think, 2,500 uh, francs discount. So good prices, great people here. So anyway, guys, that was the video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And thank you again for watching my videos. Bye, guys.